What is up everybody? Scratch coming up with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're gonna have a look at the strongest Septimus I've ever tested. Let's call him the world's strongest since it's such a fashionable thing to say. I'm currently on Sephiroth's account, a buddy of mine. Big shout out to him for letting me jump on his account to showcase this freaking monster. A fully awakened and empowered Septimus, guys. Can you imagine the damage that we're gonna get out of this freaking monster? Now... We've tested Kolhar like this a while ago, and she surprised all my expectations, okay? Well, having a look at this Septimus, most probably you're gonna be in for a treat. This is not an actual guide on the champion, guys. We're just gonna test and see what we can do with a fully maxed Septimus, okay? How many bosses we can one-shot, etc. Have a bit of fun, okay? Let's leave the serious stuff for other videos. Before we move over to talk about the Septimus build and uh, what he can do, if you guys enjoy the music that you hear in today's video, I just want to let you know I partnered up with Soundstripe. They have an amazing music library. So if you're a content creator, a music enthusiast, definitely head over and check them out. The link will be in the description down below or in the pinned comment. Plus, I can save you a 15% on checkout by using code SCRATCH. Now, let's unleash the Kraken. Septimus, plus four, awakened at six star. Oh my god, savage and cruel. Now, he does have very, very strong stats already, considering that he's a plus four. I could have gotten more crit damage on him and drop the crit rate and use Battle Kazar as lead, but we're gonna use his lead, we're gonna keep him the way he is. Attack doesn't really affect his uh, enemy max HP against bosses, guys. Okay, so let's clarify that from uh, from the start. But this is what we have on this freaking monster, okay? 5.8k attack, 39,000 HP, 3.1k defense, 210 speed, full crit rate, 344 crit damage, 259 accuracy. Very, very powerful. You see, the weapon is a blue one. This could definitely be changed with something stronger this helmet is like oof, such a nice helmet i wish i would have that on my account actually from cruel a very beautiful shield as well again i wish i would have this on my account crit damage gloves of course this is a defense chest piece so not even attack and we have speed boots no crit damage on here either imagine if we would have had that available we would have uh, taken even more crit damage on septimus attack ring we have crit damage amulet and we have an attack banner. In terms of masteries, I gave him the exact same masteries I had on my Cold Heart. And I have offense and support tree. All that matters here is the offense. Okay, so we want to have Heart of Glory. We're getting more damage. Ruthless Ambush, more damage. Uh, bring it down, more damage. Stoke to Fury, more damage when we are using um, uh, Gerptek in the team. For a second, I forgot his name there. I was like, who are we using? And then, of course, we have Ham Smasher. It's not going to proc every single hit, but you guys know the drill. And we have the support masteries, which are not really that important. Now, we do have the Blessing. On a Legendary Champion, we do have a Rare Blessing. Increases the damage inflicted to bosses and their minions according to the number of living enemies. Plus 3% damage for each enemy. This is going to be a lot of extra damage on the Spider. Extra damage on the Ice Golem. Extra damage on the Mino is not going to be the right thing for the Fire Knight or for the Dragon if you want to try and one-shot the bosses. Now, the whole idea with this is that you could get a different blessing on, a, on the champion. And honestly, depending on what exactly you're doing with him, you know, Crushing Rand is a very powerful one because you get to ignore quite a bit of extra defense at 6 stars. So depending on what bosses you're attacking, you might... Uh, ignore 20% more defense, which is going to be absolutely insane, okay? Like, it's going to be so much damage. So, that could be a different possibility, you know? We've seen the build. We've seen everything that we need to know about Septimus. Let's take him in for a spin on the Spider Dungeon. Now, how I mentioned, this is not a guide, guys. Most probably, the majority of you guys will farm stage 25 anyway, because you are getting better gear. If you're not doing that, Make sure you guys are farming stage 24, stage 25, because you will get better gear. This is just for fun, okay? For fun only. The lowest amount of damage I've seen from this Septimus is still one-shotting the spider no matter what. So we have defense down, weaken. We gotta make sure we have everything in order, because 
Last time when I've done a video like this, I missed that I didn't have Weaken on the Fire Knight with Cold Heart. We have everything on, everything that we need, so Septimus can actually go in and smack. I'm gonna see if Helm Smasher procs or not from, from the very first hit, because I've already done quite a few runs. 9 million damage! That was a Helm Smasher proc, and the highest I've seen was over 10 million damage. I'm gonna do a couple of other runs, see if I'm gonna get to hit that 10 million while I'm actually recording, because it's that uh, damage fluctuation, right? 15, 20%, I always forget, but... There we go, 7.6 million. Now, this is the standard damage that he's doing, okay? 7. Point million. Pretty crazy, right? But the standard damage, 7 million. That's without Helm Smasher proccing there. Let's do a couple of more runs. Come on, hit me that 10 million, Septimus, or get near it. I know you can do it. 9.4 million damage, okay? Pretty damn nuts, man. Like, this is around... Around 2 million more than Coalheart. Almost 2 million more than Coalheart. Which is so freaking crazy, right? It's just like, wow. Once he's gonna reach the, the max damage, it's definitely gonna be like near uh, 2 million extra. Which is so freaking crazy. Now you can empower him. You can get more crit damage from all that. 9.8. Almost 9.9 .9 million damage, guys. Freaking Septimus wrecking Spider-20. It's like his own toy, okay? It's like, you know what? Get me out of here because he stands no chance against me. We've seen this insanity, okay? Let's have a look at what he can do on the rest of the dungeons. Let's just say you want to farm the Minor. You want to get the Masteries done quick. So we have one champion that we want to farm Masteries for. And I want to get it super quick. I don't want to purchase the Masteries with gems because I want to save 200 gems. Good business practice, right? Let's see what we can do here. Can we one-shot uh, the Mino? Kolhar was pretty close to do it, right? She wasn't able to, to really one-shot the miner. Okay, so we actually lost the minions. But still, not a problem. We don't need the minions to rack the boss down. I'm actually curious if the blessing counts for the dead minions. I think it, it mentions uh, minions alive, right? So that answers my question. Bang! One-shot the miner. Not a problem. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, you know? Let's have a quick look at a different dungeon. If we're going to go all the way to the Fire Knight. Can we one-shot the Fire Knight? Now, with Cold Heart, how I mentioned, I missed one thing. And I have I didn't notice that one time I didn't have a Weaken landed on. So maybe she was able to do it and I didn't notice. But we're going to give it a go and see if this bad boy can actually do it. Cold Heart was pretty close with the Fire Knight too, though. Let's see, can we just one-shot this? I definitely want to have the A2 available for when I'm getting at the boss. Because we need to, to knock down that shield. It's going to be all calculated at the limit with the speeds, actually. Funny enough. We're, we're really going to be on point with this one, you know. Maybe I was supposed to use some of these uh, buffs, debuffs, just to help out a bit. But we're going to go in like this. That's almost dead. Okay, as long as nobody dies in here, we should be more than fine. Oof, he survived. Okay, that's it. Game over for him. And now slowly we can actually get at the boss. And I really hope, I really hope that we're gonna wreck this boss, man. Like, it's, it's, it's a bit different to one-shot the, the Fire Knight, you know? It, it gets pretty complicated, and it's just... His defense might not be as high as the others, you know, so... Let's just see if Septimus can actually do it. And by the way, I'm planning to do videos like this on Husk. I'm planning to do videos like this on uh, Royal Guard. So if any of you guys have them at 6 Star Awakened, drop me a message because, hey, who knows? I might be doing it from your own account. So here we are because I don't have them only at 2 Star, unfortunately. So we got that down. Okay. Beautiful. Do not get resisted, Lydia. Okay, nice. We have defense down, weaken, poisons up and running, block buffs, everything on point. Septimus, do it. Bang, 1.8 million, almost 1.9 million damage. Rack the Fire Knight as well. That's actually very, very good. I like, I like the feeling too, to see that we can actually rack that freaking Fire Knight like that. I'm curious if my Callhard was able to do it. I have a feeling that... She was just getting at the limit of 
being able to do that, you know. If we're gonna go over to the Ice Golem, stage 20. I know that Kolhar did this. I'm pretty sure that Septimus is gonna have no problems whatsoever. I'm very curious to see it on the Dragon. I do know that we are weak affinity there, so that can be a bit of an issue. We might get a couple of weak hits. I'm definitely gonna make sure that I'm not keeping the video long, so I'm gonna cut all those things out if we are getting uh, resisted. Uh, weak hit, sorry, not resisted. Or resisted, whatever. If anything like that happens, I'm just gonna cut them out and replace them because we don't wanna have a two hours long video, right? It's crystal clear that Septimus is just out of this world, fully awakened, fully empowered. Like, come on. Come on. Who's gonna be able to take on this bad boy, you know? Okay, and here we are. That's, that's done. Add a boss. Moment of truth. Defense down, weaken. We have them both. We have them both. And we got enough speed to uh, overpass Aitos. Boom! 2.6 million damage. The Ice Golem goes down. How oh, Hal Hades would say, maximum damage, right? This was really maximum damage. If we're gonna go over to the Dragon, the last dungeon guys can we one shot the freaking dragon too we are going to be weak affinity now when i firstly made this thing with septimus like over two years ago i was so freaking close to one shot the dragon too the weak hits were the main problem but you know what i'm back at it fully empowered fully awakened i'm definitely gonna take on that uh, dragon now i feel like this is it let's give it another go because we got a weak hit on the boss i'm actually gonna land some poisons in here Let's see what Aitos can uh, actually do. And I need to get three kills with Septimus. We got one here. I need to get two more now on the other side. So it's going to be pretty hard to calculate everything in here to make sure it's happening. Maybe I should I should uh, do it without having the poisons from Badalcazar. So that will allow Septimus to actually get, uh, get the kills, you know. Let's see. Who knows? Who knows? So, let's try and do that. We need to kill one of these uh, Hordins. 50, 50, $50 champion. Another kill. Weak hit there, unfortunately. Okay. Come on. Nice. Okay, we, should, we should be able to get somebody else down here. I think that apothecary has uh, has Septimus name on it. I'm coming for you. There we go. We got that down. And if we get no weak hits here, it will be beautiful because we get to move faster. So defense down, weaken, checked, poisons, checked, poisons on us, checked, no weak hit, checked. 1.9 million damage. That was so freaking close, guys. So freaking close. I'm pretty sure that. Ham Smasher didn't actually proc in there. We're gonna give it another go to make sure that we are able to one-shot the dragon as well. Defense down and weaken. Checked. Poisons checked again. Poisons on us. Checked again. No weak hits. One shot. Checked. 2.2 million. Going down the dragon. Instantly. Dead, guys. That's actually pretty freaking crazy to see. Septimus in full power. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. It was just one for fun. It was not a guide. Yeah, most probably the majority of people won't do this in the game, which is fine. We just had some fun. Appreciate all of you guys watching. Much love, and I'll catch you all soon in the next one. Peace.